Hello and welcome to Brick Tip number 38. I was thinking today of doing a whole bunch of different furniture designs. But when I started looking into it, I realized it's a far bigger subject than I initially thought. So rather than doing a bunch of different furniture, I decided to focus on chairs and sofas for today. Because if we have our building, obviously we're going to have to have furniture in it. And one of the most practical things that we can have in our house are chairs, of course. So, here are a bunch of parts. Now, these parts will be used time and again in different types of furniture. But, specifically, these relate to building chairs, like these clips and bars of all different varieties. We have plates and tiles and brackets stud on the side bricks. And one of the most interesting types of parts that I see used in furniture design a lot are all these weapon accessories that kind of get tossed in a bag and nobody ever uses them. They can be extremely useful, especially for decorative elements. I can see like the wolverine claws and the sigh to be used for, you know, chair backs or arm rests and things like that. So uh, one thing I was trying with this axe head was trying to make a rocker with it. I'm probably going to keep playing with that. So first of all, what I'm going to do is clear this way. I'm going to bring out a bunch of examples that I built this morning, and then we can get into showing you how those are done. Okay, so these designs here, they all came from Pinterest. I went and I always research what I'm going to build, so that's honestly one of my go-to places. And this is just to let you know, make sure that you don't kind of dismiss any resources that you have to go and reference because I find Pinterest a great spot, Flickr as well. There is a guide to different furniture designs. I'm going to post the links in the comment. Um, this is a guy on Flickr named John and he has done a great little manual on some more advanced furniture design. He uses a lot of minifig hands to create table legs, etc. So it's really it's a really interesting little guide to different types of furniture, so that'll be there for you. So let's get into this. First we're going to take a look at this really classic little chair here. Obviously this these pieces with the plate and the two bars they're just begging to be chair legs. And with a little brick in there and then a plate on the back and an inverted tile. Bang! You have a nice little chair. Really easy, really simple. And it fits a minifig. Just perfect. And I think this has to be one of the criteria for any chair. I used to dabble in woodworking and building chairs was seen, or is seen, as one of the highest forms of woodworking because you have to create something that's comfortable, something that's functional, and something that's aesthetic. And putting all that together in any piece of furniture or any piece of woodworking is a, a real challenge. So even in Lego, building chairs that actually function and look nice, that is a real trick. So let's go on to this one. We've just used a ladder piece back here and a couple of plates with the extended bar out. And then just another inverted tile on the top. Another really simple chair to do. These ones I really like. This one is using brackets and some hinges in the back here to create the shaping on this couch and the brackets are on the side and I think that is just a slick looking little couch it's really easy to construct there's nothing complicated about it and 
those hinges just slot that in perfectly and you get that great finished seam. Here is another one and this one uses studs on the side bricks. So on the ends, rather than using brackets, they just slot that into where the anti-stud is. And that gives us our arm and the side of the chair and then it's just a plate on the back and bang. We have a great little love seat and chair set. So there we go. You can make that as long as you want actually. I'd be really interested if somebody could come up with a um, a design for a rollout bed. I mean a futon is easy enough. This is this is pretty much a futon design. But if you can make a tuck away bed, I'd be impressed with that one, especially at that scale. Okay, so with that, I decided to go play with some designs of my own. So here are my designs. And this was the first one. I just decided to give a couple of clips and bars a try with a couple of tiles and some roundover bits here. It didn't take long. I mean, it's just a clip in there. This acts as the backrest for the... I guess this would be a lounger. Sure. We can call it a lounger, yeah. So you're out on the... You know, out on the beach on your lounger. That works perfect. You're out on your deck. So there's one simple design. Now we get a little bit more complicated. I really wanted this guy to have a recliner. So we had to do that. So this actually tilts back and he can recline back while he's watching the game or taking a snooze or whatever. And this is one of those big lazy boy style recliners. I mean the shaping isn't perfect. I admit there are some spots here and there. But you know it definitely gives the impression of that big comfy fabric style chair or leather chair. So there's that one, and this, the main component is using one of those wheel pieces with the plate and then the two little spokes out for your wheels. And there is a clip on that, and the arm just extends from there, and then we got the back, I guess, big poofy part here. <laughs> And in the front, we got another couple eyelet pieces, and that's forming the bottom, and just trying to kind of cover up seeing that piece there. All right, so this one here is a throne, just in case your minifig has some royal aspirations, or who knows, maybe they're a megalomaniac. <laughs> so uh, the, the main piece in this was actually the hitch piece. Again, those are just asking to be legs, so I made it like so, and then here you could have your heraldry or whatever. I just put a couple decorative elements up there, and you can see this is that large piece with the couple of clips on it and a couple of bars there, nothing too complicated. I did have to put a plate back here just to keep it upright. But again, a very simple build, something that was really fun to try to come up with and construct. I definitely recommend having some fun with this. Go and try some different details and designs out. Let your imagination go because you never know where you're going to end up with this stuff. And as I mentioned, Check your references. There's lots out there to look at. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And especially thank you to those who have liked, subscribed, and shared. Please keep doing so. I would love to see any examples you have of different types of chairs that you've designed. So you can head over to our Facebook page and post them there if you want. We have a Patreon account if you wish to support us that way. And don't forget about our Play Well Bricks 1000 contest. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming in bricks. Bye bye.